Do you guys want to hit shots like this? In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how to have an accurate and precise aim on controller. Now, most controller players think that since they have aim assist, they don't have any more room for improvement on their aim, which is why I'm here to tell you that that is completely wrong. After this video, you will be amazed at what goes into having insane aim on controller. When playing Fortnite on controller, there are a few key aiming techniques to know while trying to maximize your aiming potential. Thumbstick control. One of the most important controller aim techniques is thumbstick control. Now this involves using the thumbsticks on your controller to move your crosshair and aim at your target. Now to get most out of thumbstick control, it's important to find the right sensitivity settings for your controller. This will ensure smooth and accurate movement. And additionally, players can improve their aim accuracy and control by learning to use their non-dominant thumb for movement. Aim assist. Aim assist is a feature in many games, including Fortnite. This helps players with their aim by automatically adjusting their crosshair to follow their target. Now, Aim assist can be particularly useful for players who are just starting out as it can help them get used to the game's mechanics and improve their aim over time. However, aim assist can also be a disadvantage in some situations as it can interfere with player control and accuracy. Trigger control. Trigger control is another important aspect of controller aiming. The triggers on your controller regulate your shooting and aiming, so learning to use them effectively is key to improving your aim. The triggers should be paired with thumbstick control to help you line up your shots and take down your opponent. Flick shots. Flick shots are a more advanced controller aim technique that can be difficult to master, but is highly effective. A flick shot involves moving quickly your thumbstick in the direction of your target and shooting as soon as your crosshair passes over them. Flick shots require fast reflexes and precise movement, but they can be devastating when executed correctly. Tracking. Tracking is another advanced controller aim technique that involves keeping your crosshair on your target as they move. Tracking requires a combination of thumbstick control and trigger control as you must move your crosshair with your thumbstick while firing your weapon with just your triggers. Tracking can be particularly effective when your opponent is running in a straight line or moving predictably, such as when they're jumping or using a glider. By mastering tracking, you can take down your opponents with ease and become an unbeatable player in Fortnite. Now let's talk about sensitivity. Your sensitivity dictates all of your fights, whether it be your building, editing, or aiming. To find the correct sensitivity, you need to focus on your playstyle to be a top tier competitor. If you like to engage in mid to long range fights, having a slower and more precise sensitivity will help you hit those long shots with your assault rifle. Now, make sure you're putting yourself in the correct situations when attempting to play more long range. For instance, keep your distance from any spot where the enemy could be, giving you the range you need to full beam them. Now, if you like to play aggressively on your opponents, then a quick and more flashy sensitivity will be the best for you. Having an aggressive play style always needs to be paired with more swift sensitivity so you can constantly hit those fast flicks with your shotgun against a sweaty opponent. Now, your main sensitivity is one thing, but your aim down sight sensitivity is a whole other ballpark. Aiming sensitivity in Fortnite is a critical component of aiming and shooting accurately. Finding the right sensitivity can take some experimenting, but it's important to do so in order to achieve the optimal aiming performance. This sensitivity setting determines how quickly your character turns in response to your movements with the mouse or controller. Like mentioned before, lower sensitivities are better for precision aiming, while higher sensitivities are better for fast-paced gameplay. However, everyone has their own preference when it comes to sensitivity settings, so it's important to find what works best for you. Some players prefer to use a low sensitivity and make larger movements with their thumbstick, while others prefer a higher sensitivity and tend to make smaller movements. Ultimately, choosing the right sensitivity will depend on your playstyle and personal preference. Before we get into the next way to improve your aim, if you're serious about becoming a pro at Fortnite, you can access all of our courses and bootcamp content for just $7.99. And if personalized coaching is more your speed, you'll get 10% off any session with any of our pros. In Fortnite, crosshair placement is incredibly important as it directly affects your aim and accuracy when shooting. Now, when playing on controller, it's important to understand the sensitivity and movement of the sticks in order to properly place your crosshair. One key aspect of crosshair placement in Fortnite is understanding the height and distance of your your opponents. For example, if you're engaging in a close range fight, you want to aim your crosshair at head level to ensure you land head shots. Additionally, you'll want to make sure your crosshair is placed slightly ahead of your opponent's movement to account for the time it takes your bullets to hit them. Another important factor to consider when playing with the controller is movement. When moving, it's important to keep your crosshair at head level and anticipate where your opponent might be coming from. This requires a level of prediction and game sense, but with practice, you'll be able to make accurate shots with 
without needing to adjust your aim too much. Finally, having good crosshair placement on a controller in Fortnite is all about understanding the sensitivity and movement of your sticks and anticipating your opponent's movements to land accurate shots. Aim training is an important aspect of improving your gameplay in Fortnite especially if you want to compete at a high level. Improving your aim can help you win more gunfights and secure more eliminations, which is essential for climbing the ranks and achieving success. Now, while some players may have a natural talent for aiming, consistent practice is the key to developing a better aim and overall gameplay. One effective way to train your aim in Fortnite is by using aim training maps that are available in Creative. These maps are designed to help players improve their aim by practicing shooting at targets with different movement and speeds. Some maps are designed to simulate real in-game scenarios, such as shooting while jumping or sliding, which can help players prepare for real-world engagements. With any given aim training map, don't overdo it. Go into a map for about 10 to 15 minutes, or maybe even less if your aim feels better before a given time. The last thing you want when warming up your aim is to get burned out before you even start playing. Another useful method of aim training is playing in deathmatch-style game modes, such as Team Rumble or Free For All. These modes provide opportunities to practice shooting at moving targets and engaging in gun fights without the pressure of a full game. They can be a great way to warm up your skills before jumping into a competitive match and can help you refine your skills in low stakes environments. 1v1 fights with other players can also be a very helpful way to practice your aim in a more realistic setting. These fights can be arranged in custom games or in public matchmaking and can provide opportunities to test your skills against other players. By practicing in real engagements, you can improve your reaction time and learn how to predict your opponent's movements more effectively. All in all, Consistent practice with different aim training methods will be essential for improving your aim in Fortnite. By incorporating these techniques into your daily gameplay routine, you'll be able to develop more precise aiming skills and increase your chances of success in game. All right, guys, it's time for the question of the day. Which controller pro do you think has the best aim and how do they set themselves apart from everyone else? Take a few seconds, pause the video, and let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. The final topic that we'll talk about in this video is having the correct mindset. Being in the right headspace when in an engagement will help you tremendously when it comes to winning them. Not overreacting when a player hits you or when you miss a shot will get your aim and all-around gameplay to the next level. Now, when you're tagged by an AR or hit by a shotgun in a fight, more than likely, your opponent will start to play aggressive. Now, try not to freak out or panic. When most players push you because your shield is cracked, they definitely make a dumb move trying to get too greedy for the kill. Keep your composure, wait for your enemy to make a faulty edit or build, and then use your shotgun to send them back to the lobby. You may ask, what if I miss? Well, keep yourself protected and recalculate for another shot. Having a plan or strategy for the engagement can help you stay calm and focused. Try to anticipate where your opponent might be and plan your movements and tactics accordingly. By having a plan, you can approach the engagement with a clear head and a sense of purpose, rather than feeling overwhelmed or reactive. Remember, to stay patient and not rush into the engagement, as this can lead to mistakes and poor decision making. With practice and a calm mindset, you can become more effective in your engagements and most definitely achieve greater success. Now, while it can be frustrating to miss, it's important to keep things in perspective and not get too caught up in the outcome. Try to focus on the process of playing the game rather than the outcome of any particular engagement. By staying present and focused on the moment, you can remain calm and make better decisions during the fight. Well, guys, it looks like that's a wrap for today. Today's video. If you enjoyed this guide on how to perfect your aim on controller, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe if you want to see more tips and tricks videos in the future. Let us know in the comments what type of controller tutorials you wish to watch next. And as always, we look forward to seeing you in our next video here at Pro Guides.